Danielle from Pro World. I'm Gianna from Home. And I'm Sammy behind the camera. And we are all here, ready to go. We have our tiles and display options for them. Um, as always, chime in, let us know how you're doing. And you're give a like and subscribe. You are just, <laughs> clearly sorry. she has been watching a lot of YouTube. I cannot help this fact. Uh, so, but she is right though. Subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. Do I keep it in the tab? Ah, sorry. <laughs> all right. So, um, what we're doing today is uh, different options for printing on tiles. We offer sublimation tiles that you are able to print on with your sublimation printer. Um, and you can also, that's how uh, these photos were done. These here. And then you can also put sign vinyl on your tile as well. So really pretty um, versatile options for tiles. You can either do a full color print, you can do some sign vinyl. But not only that, it's, you know, different options and different displays. So uh, we're going to show you all that, but let's go ahead and print a tile first so that way we can show you how it's done. Are you seeing we're okay? Sound volume is good? Okay. All right. Thanks. We're going to go with, uh, if you could pass me the little tile over there. So we have, you're very close to me today. You just want to, <laughs> just wants to get in the, the photo here. All right. So we have a couple uh, different size options on our website. We're going to, this is the four by four tile. And we're going to print one of one of one of my favorite photos when uh, Gianna was little. Um, and the one with the flamingo shirt. With her cousins. So we took this, this is a sublimation print. So we use our Virtuoso SG400. We're on text print paper and we printed mirrored. So this is a mirrored image and we are going to place our tile directly on top for where we want it to go. Make sure that we're centered as possible. And we are going, we're not gonna put, we're not gonna do two of them. We're gonna put that one on the other. And we're going to just curl up the page it, curl up the edges here, because we're gonna we're gonna tape it down. Let me just turn this paper a little bit. Can you uh, give me two pieces of tape? I can't find the opening. I know this one's a tricky one. Oh, there it is. Got it. And I did print this with quite a bit of bleed because I do want it to kind of go around the edges of the tile. There is a little bit of uh, white coating and there is a curve to the tile. So you do want the print to kind of go to wrap around that curved edge of the tile. So you kind of want to do um, about a quarter inch bleed all the way around the area. Thank you. <coughs> And I have my heat press set at 400 degrees. We're at uh, six minutes. So for when printing tiles, you can be anywhere from six to eight minutes. For these little ones, I kind of like to do the uh, lower temp, the lower time. Uh, for the larger ones, you can definitely increase your time up to those eight minutes. All right, we are going um, back side of the tile up so that the print is down, and then you cover it with a nonstick sheet. I do, I do have a pressing pillow on that on our heat press, so that way it'll give that cushion to the pillow and allow the print to wrap around. All right, close and lock your heat press. So that's gonna go ahead with uh, the timing. So again, we're at that six minute mark, and we'll let that cook for a little bit, and then I'm gonna show you, while this cooks, let's, Show you all the other options here. Do we have any questions? Yeah. I have a little mitten over here just in case because I know it goes out hot. All right. So one of the display options, and I pretty much have tiles all around my house. Um, one of the display options I really do like is the easel that we sell on our website. Um, it's really easy. It just kind of attaches to the back side. Oh, that's okay. Leave that there. Yeah. All right. Another option that you can do, um, we don't sell the cork, but we 
picked up this cork um, in a roll like this from Home Depot. So you cut your own, you cut your own backing out, and then you're able to adhere it right to the back of the tile. So if you're using it as a hot plate, it'll you know keep that surface fine for you, that your table surface. Uh, we also suggest you can get these little, I don't know if you can, can you zoom in? Can you see those? They're like little, maybe I can do it this way, little jelly feet um, that you can get. No, you can't see them. Well, they're kind of like, um, they're, they're good for trivets uh, and for your, your hot plates, but they're, uh, they have a little sticky back to them and you just stick them right in the corners where you need. Yes. Um, you can also put them like on the back of doors, cabinet, so it doesn't hit the wall. Yeah. We have some on the back of our door. And we also, this is a brand new product that we just got in. It's, it comes like this and it's for, yeah, you're going to open that for me? So it, it comes already wrapped and it has those little pads on the bottom so it's perfect if you're going to put it down here it also comes with a little dowel i guess really and then you just kind of push that in there so you can display like that your tile and you're just going to put your tile right inside you're really struggling with that i got it i got it question can i help you let's uh, get it started here look look done Daryl asks, uh should you preheat the pillow before. No, no need to preheat the pillow. It'll be fine. See everybody, I did it by myself. She did not. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Just <laughs> keeping it real here. <laughs> this one also. Yes, it has a little dowel. All right, so we're gonna show you. You gonna put that in there? Yeah. What I really like about having it um, have this little frame with the. There you go. With the little peg in the back, is that you can kind of swap out based on your season. So if it's something that you put on your countertop or on your table, these aren't glued or adhered in any way to this frame. So you're, are you good over there? Yeah, I'm yeah. good. So you're able to kind of use different tiles. Um, you can use one for each season and just swap it out when you want. Okay, that's good. It doesn't go all the way in. Okay, good. Because <laughs> then I can do that. Okay. It just sits right there. Oh, <laughs> is that right side up? Yeah. And then perfect. Uh, I think we put that in a little bit backwards there. There we go. This. Well, not at all. <laughs> we don't make it easy for ourselves. You can also hang these too. But if you hang them, I would recommend. Um, I would recommend getting this little, uh, kind of tacking it in if you want to hang it. Okay, we are at another a minute twenty to go. How yeah. long are we pressing? Six minutes for this little tile. We are pressing another one of me. Another one of you? Yeah, because we already pressed this one of me. Yeah. All right. Now that I got that down a little bit better, there we go. Perfect. Wait, it just goes in there. You don't even have to. Yeah, you don't have to put anything. You just lay it right in. Well, don't poke at it. <laughs> Just poking from the backside. Of course, it's going to fall off and poke in the backside. But it's good to be interchangeable. All right. Any questions? Nope. Not yet. Okay. Well, we have 70 seconds to go. You want to use that one instead? If you yeah. have a question, now's the time to get yes, in. Yes. Now's the time. The clock is ticking. 60 seconds. Six. Four. But we do have, I think we have, we have four inch, six inch. Um, we have these, I think these are six by eight tiles. Uh, we also have some glow in the dark tiles, I believe. Um, you have a question? We do. Okay. Question is from Queenie. Uh, is the tile on your site? I was late. Is oh. the tile on the site? Yes. Yep. We have them under the sublimation section, tiles. We have all of our tile options and these new frames uh, for display. We have those as well. Did it. You did that one already for me? Yeah. Perfect. Also from Queenie, 
Is it sublimation? Yes, we are sublimation printing on these. Uh, so we're using our sublimation printer, our SG400. We have our text print paper, and we're mirroring the image. We're at 400 degrees for like seven seconds six, for, for six minutes, and this one is Three, almost two, done. One, ding, 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 ding. Oh. Let's see my picture. Ah! Wonderful. And it's hot. What happened to our feet? Well, feet aren't needed. Ah! <laughs> They're needed in real life, but you know. Next question is uh, from Daryl. And he says the wait time between doing tiles is what? And as there will be heat buildup, uh, should you decrease the times? There will be buildup. No, I think you're good to go. I think you can just go right to the next one. Yeah. Which we can do now for you. We'll go right to the next one. You're going to cut it? Yeah. Okay. One Try more question it. coming Sorry, in. That's okay. Question coming in from Linda. She says, is it okay to do more than one at a time? I would not. And the reason being is that if for some reason the tiles are just slightly different heights or have um, different kind of, because they're all, oh, that one's not textured in the background because I covered it. They all have like this texture to the back. And if for some reason they're not at the same height, when you go to press them, it is going to affect the print. So I would stick one tile in at a time just to make sure that you're going to get the best print possible. Did you double check that you're straight and even? Yeah. I know all these steps. You know all the steps? Because you were listening, right? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your fingers okay. cutting it, please. There you go. I know. Can I borrow the scissors real quick? Why don't you take that down? Thank you. Right. All right, so we're going to get another tile in here, and we'll no. kind of start the process all over again. So you all right, I have a question coming in from Queenie again. Uh, what kind of paper was that laying over the tile when you apply the heat? The nonstick sheet. So for sublimation, it's it's ideal to use a nonstick sheet so that way um, if, the, if there's a the print that releases so basically when when you print sublimation the ink releases as a gas and goes right to your product if uh, there's excess gas that comes out or excess ink you don't want it to go up to your heat press so you want to keep that nonstick sheet so that way you always keep your platen nice and clean all right so tile the back of it is face up so the back of the tile is facing the heat press your print is on the bottom side on your uh, pressing pillow we're covering with the nonstick sheet and we're at 400 degrees for 360 seconds so six minutes another eyelash gun oh no you're having a tough time with these eyelashes and don't forget the print is mirrored uh, because in sublimation you have to reverse it and this one seems it seems very hot still, actually, but um, I think we can probably figure out a way to get my fingers not burned off. Wonderful. Look Yay, how cute that is. Two of me. Two of you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, let's get a better closer look here. It's, okay. It's a Ooh. But I like these, these new frames have um, a spot at, there's like an opening at the top and the bottom. So if you wanted to hang them, you definitely could do that. But again, I would tack down the sides if you're going to hang it, because the tile can fall out if you do. Any other questions? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You have a question? What is your question? Can I have one in my room? Can you have one in your room? Yes. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> this one was going to go on my desk, though, yeah. so I can see cute little smiling faces at me all day. <laughs> <laughs> Nana from the back would like one in her room. <laughs> yeah, that's the face you give. Yeah. Okay, any questions? Currently, we have about three minutes remaining on this uh, do we? press here. No, about four minutes. About four minutes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So how do you know? <laughs> it's at 273. It's, it's that mental countdown. <laughs> 
All right. Um, if you have, if you don't have any questions about this particular product, we can answer other questions in the meantime. Um, just go ahead and throw those questions um, in the chat for me, and I can take a look. Or, or Sammy can take a look. You got nothing else to talk about? No. All right. You're typing away. Did you have a question? No. Oh, okay. Why are you typing? I was just letting them know if they have any other questions, ask oh. away. So you're typing that? I am typing that. So yeah. if you, this is another option. We didn't show these. Um, but another another option is these like little felt blanket pads. So these are kind of helpful too. Because uh, they, whatever has like a nice little sticky backing already to it, you just peel it right off and stick your product right on. So if you were to do these little felt pads on the back of the tile, you can just cut it to the size of your tile and stick it on the back, and then that protects your surface that you're like putting this. on. Yes, just like that. Uh, and this. Uh, Tanya's question comes in, says, have you purchased or has purchased a uh, heat transfer from you? What temperature is the best? For heat transfers, you definitely want to check the application instructions that we have listed on the website for that one. Uh, so if you go to that item number and then you click on the photo, it will show up the, the application Glitchy. for you. Glitchy. I don't know why it's in the matrix here. Oh, uh, all right, Queenie says, last question, what do you look under for frames on so the site? So if you're looking for these frames, they're going to be under the tile section, and they're also listed under the photo accessory section. So if you wanted to uh, go with one of the easels, that's an option that's under the uh, simulation photo accessories section on the website. And I think if Jess or Kate can throw those links in there, uh, that would that would be great. So that way we can get it real easy. Back to Facebook Live, I have something to talk to you about. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll wait then. Well, actually. We'll wait, because I don't know what the question is. So we'll wait. <laughs> well, let's see. Where are... Where's everybody calling in from? Where are you where are you calling from right now? They're not calling. Uh, you know what I meant. <laughs> Testing. Where, where are you watching from? Where are you located currently? We had a pretty bad storm here. I don't know if anybody's watching that had that storm. We didn't have power for a couple days. It has been it has been 2020. Let's put it that way. It pretty much summed up our year so far. Yeah. So if you got that storm that hit you, let us know about it because because we sure did. All right, we have about 100 seconds left. We got a Nebraska in the house. We got Philly in the house. Nice. We got Eastern North Carolina. Oh, you guys got hit pretty hard, yeah. We got yeah. Michigan. Um, okay, question coming in. Uh, I know this hard to pinpoint, but about how many prints on average do you get on a tank of ink with the sublimation printer? Unfortunately, there isn't a number for that. I wish there was, but based on the saturation of your print and what colors you're printing most, that's really going to determine your ink consumption. But the great thing about the Virtuoso printer is that you do get um, kind of a daily log as to how much ink is left in the printer. Um, so it will give you that percentage that's left in the ink tank. So that way you know if you'll need a new cartridge and to, you know, order soon or not. I think I've been uh, at a very low percentage for all three of my inks for a pretty long time, I probably since March, and I've yet to, to refill it yet. Um, but it's it's definitely something that they, they do keep you aware of right on uh, your print panel. Uh, so just keep keep reference to that to see, you know, if you would need an, an ink cartridge soon. All right, we got another question from Daryl. He says, are the tiles made in the U.S.? These are not. Um, most of our sublimation products do come overseas. Um, so these are uh, from that manufacturer. So they're, co oh, uh, they're coated and uh, prepared overseas for us. I'm not sure if you can see what uh, the tiles say made in China on the back. <laughs> yeah. They can't see that far. They cannot. Uh, all right. Oh, this came out super cute. One more question from Queenie. She says, do you supply the ink? We do sell the ink cartridges on our website, yes. And you can kind of see. Away. Oh, so 
Oh, that was so hot. hot. You yeah, okay? It's so hot. They, it, it's 400 degrees you're working with, so it is going to be pretty hot. Yes. Um, but just for, you know, four seconds have been. just for you to see, it, you don't have to always do a full coverage print. You don't have to do a photo. Uh, this is a really simple design uh, that, you know, more colors than I'd like to do in vinyl. Uh, so it's perfect for sublimation and for, you know, a nice little sign that we can put. Yeah. It's, oh, now this thing's hot. That's going to burn your fingers there. But I can definitely yeah. put it. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this adjusted here. Would you like the uh, up glove? No. Would you like my pink glove? I probably should be getting. Should we order we the need to order there some more. There we go. Person. Yay! That looks good in the frame. Now, if they the want to keep these permanently in the frame, can they glue the backs on or Velcro or something? So, there, can you see that little ledge in there? No. No? You can't zoom in to see it? <laughs> it was good. Oh, there's a little ledge on the inside, and this is where the tile sits. Just like that. So if you were to want to keep this permanent in there, I would just put a stream of glue right on the inside of that ledge and then just place it, place your tile in, and that's going to secure it for you. So it definitely is an, op an opportunity to have a frame that stays or have a tile that stays in permanent. And if you wanted this to just be, you know, again, you can have it sit like that because it does have the little feet on the bottom. Okay. Well, that was my question. That wasn't a question from anybody else. No. All right. Anybody else All out right. there where you guys are viewing from? Let's get some more shout outs. Go ahead and put this back in there. Okay. Yeah, Canada. All right. Well, we're right. pretty much Rhode Island. Oh, you're so you're so going like where people are from. <laughs> oh, these are people I lost earlier. Oh, okay. Just wanted to make sure everybody got a shout out. Yeah, we got Illinois. You have any questions? Just let us know, and. Uh, if not, then we'll see you next week. So okay. we'll... we got another question. Go ahead. Question coming in from Irvin. He says, uh, what tile is that? Uh, which has that glossy look? Which tile has that glossy look on it? So all of our tiles that we sell on our website do have that gloss finish. Um, so just go under the sublimation and tiles, and then that will get you that product. But all of our, all of our tiles do have that uh, glossy coat. And these are all prepped and ready for sublimation. But the one good thing about it is you can also do signed vinyl on them as well. So you know you do have you do have that option. If you if you don't have a sublimation printer, you can definitely look into the signed vinyl. All right, we got a question from Liliana. She says, uh, "What's the size of the frame?" Well, that's a good question. The size of the frame is, is seven and a half, and that's for the six inch trial. I knew it was seven. And this one is. About six, it's a little under six, and that's for the four four inch trial. Uh, question Samuel says, I'm not sure if that was a question or if that was a comment. It says, I love that I just got connect. Uh, what's the name of the transfer? The transfer name, uh, I'm assuming the transfer these, that you used, which sublimation, these are sublimation transfers that we. Printed with our SG400 using the Sublajet HD inks and text print R paper. Um, so these uh, are basically custom designs that we're that we're printing. Uh, you can, if you don't have a sublimation printer, you can order sublimation custom sublimation through uh, our custom website, which is pwcustom.com. So if you don't have that sublimation printer handy, you can definitely send us your designs through there. Uh, then that way you can use. Woo, did you uh -oh. pop it? It's a ghost. <laughs> that way you can uh, order or or print your designs uh, as you know as well. So if you don't have that printer, 
All right, uh, another question comes from Carrie. Uh, she says, when will the Sawgrass 500 be back in stock? We're looking at about September for that to come back in. I think that was the ghost that knocked it over. <laughs> we won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to tell you something. Any questions, Nana? Nana has no questions. All right. <laughs> okay, if there are no further questions. I guess that's it. All right, well, thank you everybody so much for watching, and we will see you here next week. Bye. Yes, there were a lot of viewers from from Georgia today, Mitch. Oh, my God. Daddy didn't sign off yet. Yeah, maybe still people got coming in saying hi and everything else. I didn't want to be rude. Ciao.